Welcome back to Tactical Magfed. If you're into all things paintball, tactical and Magfed related, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Hit the bell notification for new videos. It's really going to help me out. Um, we're going to be talking about some cool tactical drills in, these, in this video. Uh, so it's about time I've got some tactical kit on. I think it's time for a uh, tactical click. Now I've got some tactical kit, let's get on with the show. Okay, so in this video I'm going to be going over my sling, uh, why I currently use a sling, and um, what some of the pros and cons of having a sling are, um, so you can make a decision whether you want to run one or not. Okay, so the first benefits to having a sling, obviously, is the ability to just let go of it at any given time. Um, in a game you might want to let go for any particular reason, you might have an issue with the marker and you want to stow it away um, and go on to your secondary. Um, you might have a barrel break and you want to take the barrel out. It's a lot easier to take the barrel out um, with the marker slinged, um, deal with the barrel with both hands, put the barrel back in. You haven't got to put it down. Um, you know, and if you do get into some kind of contact while you're dealing with the barrel break, you've still got everything on you. you just move to cover, follow your team, whoever you, whatever you do. Um, the main reason I um, use a sling at the moment is because when you've got the marker up and um, for whatever reason you need to um, dump the marker in a, a really quickly, you haven't got time to do a mag change or you're out of paint in the marker, you're going into a room, um, you don't want a big sticky barrel pointing through the doorway, um, you can quickly transition to your primary. So you can literally let it go, like so, and have your primary, uh, your secondary out, ready to shoot. Okay, so that's my main reason for having the sling. You can just put the weapon out of the way, get the, get the secondary out. So effectively, um, in the time you've got You've got 20 rounds in your mag, you've got six rounds or six rounds in this particular uh, pistol, the FSC. Um, you can get 26 rounds onto a target fairly quickly without having to do a mag change. You, you just do a transition change. You, you move the marker, you drop the marker and get your pistol. Um, other benefits, uh, if you had an issue with your marker, if you're um, crawling through under and all the rest of it, you can stow the thing on your back if you need to, okay, so it's out of the way, and you can stay in the game, use your pistol, um, you can bring that back. So yeah, you can bring it up and around, it's just a nice thing to have. It takes a bit of practice to get used to one of these things, um, so for instance, um, to be able to transition from shoulder to shoulder, you need to get some slack on here. Um, and then again, you get it back. So, there's plenty of options with the sling. I'll demonstrate the um, transition. So, how I generally do it, if I come around this way, is I have my leading hand on the, on the marker, on the weapon, so wherever I've got it, and I guide that down out the way. So, you can guide the marker out down the side, and uh, you can probably pick that up. It's out the way of my pistol mag, so I've still got room to manoeuvre with my pistol. Okay, so um, with the marker out of the way, you can then transition onto your secondary. Okay, and when you've got your secondary out, you've got access to your mags with your marker out of the way. Um, if you're when you're doing this quickly in a confined space, if you haven't always got time to get your marker right out of the way. As long as you're not moving, what you can do is just drop it down the front, and that does the same, has the same effect. You've got access to your mags and to your secondary pistols, you can do what you need to do with that, and you can still get your mags out without any interference from the, from the marker. Obviously, if you're running, this is in the way of your knees, so this is very much a stationary. Um, change, uh, transition, whereas if you were moving, um, that's where you'd get the marker out to the side and you've got freedom to move your legs. So, 
That being said, I think that having a sling is a positive, but sometimes in the heat of the battle, engagement, whatever you want to call it, um, you can get snagged up quite easily. Um, so <laughs> if you're moving this thing around, your kit, it's got Velcro on it, it's got um, bits that can snag on the back and the front. So, you know, if you've had it on your back for a while and you're trying to move it around to the front, it's going to get snagged on stuff. So, it's just being aware of the pros and cons of having the sling, and the more you practice with it, the slicker you get with it. Um, it's really easy just to drop, and the front, as long as you lead the, lead the marker down and away from your body, it's fairly quick to sling down, and get your secondary out, um, and always make sure that you've got access to your mag pouches. So, so yeah, for me, for me, the sling is a really positive piece of kit that I have. Um, I love it. Uh, if you are having issues with your marker, you've also got the option to sling it on your front, so you can um, check inside here for paint. You can move the barrel. You know, you can have the have it up there while you're dealing with marker. Sort it out. Put it all back in. And then you're off to you're back in the game. Um, I have got multiple options on here, so I can do uh, funky things with it. So this QD point here, um, just take that off there. I can stick it on there. Gives me more options. So if you want, if you like a tighter, and the problem I find with having that there is that when I do transitions, <laughs> you lose a lot of your um, capacity to move freely around your rig with that, in, with that in the way. So it all depends what I'm doing. Sometimes I'll put it up there and do it up nice and tight just to keep it a bit tighter and higher off the ground. But generally speaking I'll keep it on the end of the buttstock here because it, it's tighter up into your shoulder. So when you've got when you've got it tightened up here, it's in it's in your shoulder there. It's a good platform to stay onto. However you want to do it, okay, and it sits, it sits there. So as soon as you pick it up, it's in your shoulder. There's no, haven't got to puff around and put it on there. And also, when I do release it up to do shoulder transitions, it's a lot easier to guide it with the buttstock on there. Okay, I'm getting snagged in my shamag at the minute. Okay. So yes, yeah, it's, it's all it's all a question of um, preference. Um, I like it. Um, let me know your thoughts on whether or not you use a sling, whether you like the sling, um, and your thoughts on the quick adjust. Um, the only reason I use a sling is because I have the quick adjust on it. If I didn't have a quick adjust sling like that, I don't think I'd bother to be honest, because it would be too restrictive. Um, once you've set it, it's really restrictive and you can't move it. I like the fact that this one is a quick adjust, you can move it between shoulders, you can change the length, I can move it around with the QD points, um, I can move this one up as well to there, so it is more of a um, single point style sling, but again, I like it being at the front, it's a nice platform, you can get your arm in and out of it, you can wrap it around your arm to get more stability, it's really nice. Okay, so bit longer than I intended it to be, but yeah, this is a quick run through of why I have the sling and some pros and cons that I think um, that there are with running one. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, do the like, subscribe, bell notification, all that good stuff. It's really going to help the channel and uh, as soon as I can get a thousand subscribers, it will help feed my Magford habit. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.